Welcome to the BioLegend Innate Immune Signaling Poster in 360 degrees. Let's start with toll-like receptor signaling. Toll-like receptors, TLRs, are most likely the first set of pathways that you recognize. TLRs can be found on a variety of cells and work as pattern recognition receptors, picking up markers that are typically highly conserved among bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. Some TLRs are present on the cell surface, while others are buried within endosomes to help combat internal pathogens like viruses. Recognition of these foreign markers triggers a cascade of innate immune responses, including cytokine and interferon production and inflammation. Most of the TLR pathways take advantage of at least one adapter protein for downstream signaling, including MyD88, TIRAP, TRIF, or TRAM. In humans, 10 functional TLRs have been discovered, while in mice, up to 13 have been discovered. The ligands for each can be seen in the table at the bottom of the poster. Lectin signaling. A select group of C-type lectin receptors, CLRs, are classified as pattern recognition receptors and can bind carbohydrate structures that can be found on various bacteria, viruses, or fungi. DC sign, dectin-1, dectin-2, and minkle are among the most well-known receptors in this group and can typically be found on monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells. Activation of these pathways leads to the production of several classical inflammatory mediators like NF-kappa B and the release of cytokines associated with both the innate and adaptive immune response. FC Receptor Signaling As their name implies, FC receptors are designed to pick up the FC portions of antibodies. They can be found on B cells, dendritic cells, NK cells, macrophages, and granulocytes. Different FC receptors may bind to different antibodies, as denoted by the Greek letter that follows their name. For example, FC gamma receptor recognizes IgG antibodies, whereas FC epsilon receptor recognizes IgE antibodies. Binding of antibodies by the FC receptors triggers a variety of effects, including phagocytosis and cytokine, histamine, or enzyme release. RIG-1, MDA-5, and Sting signaling. Viral RNA is often injected into host cells and requires replication and transcription in order to propagate new viral RNA strands. This newly synthesized viral RNA can be recognized by double-stranded RNA helicase enzymes like RIG-1 and fellow RIG-1-like receptor family member MDA-5. More specifically, RIG-1 recognizes 5' prime phosphorylated blunt ends of viral genomic double-stranded RNA. MDA-5 also binds viral RNA but doesn't have a 5' prime or 3' prime end it favors. Upon binding, both RIG-1 and MDA-5 eventually recruit a signaling adapter, MAVs. This leads to production of type 1 interferons and other inflammatory mediators to help clear viral infections. Working in a similar capacity, Stimulator of interferon genes, STING, is a protein that can recognize double-stranded DNA and cyclic dinucleotides. STING can typically be found on endoplasmic reticulum and interacts with TBK1, leading to IRF3 activation and type 1 interferon production. Autophagy can also be induced via STING. NOD, NLRP, and AIM-2 signaling. NOD-like receptors, NLRs, function similarly to TLRs in that they recognize certain pathogen-associated patterns in the cytosol. NOD-1 and NOD-2, in particular, focus on bacterial peptidoglycans. Like other innate signaling pathways, they lead to activation of key mediators like NF-kappa B, IRF3 and IRF7. Other members of this family, 
like NLRP3, may aid in inflammasome formation and pyroptosis, a highly inflammatory form of cell death, usually caused by microbial infections and caspase-1 activation. The inflammasome is usually comprised of procaspase-1 and either NLRP or AIM-2 receptors. The NLRP3 inflammasome is activated by several stimuli. Aside from microbial patterns, urate crystals, amyloid fibrils, and even ATP can trigger activation. AIM-2 is activated by cytosolic DNA. Activation of NLR family members, like NLRP3, recruits ASC proteins, which in turn recruit procaspase-1. Once activated, caspase-1 can induce pyroptosis and activate IL-1 beta and IL-18. Thank you for watching our 360 degree video. If you would like to see more pathways in two dimensions, visit biolegend.com slash literature. Or to view more interactive pathways, visit biolegend.com slash pathways.